Well, after getting shot in the face with a police beanbag round, a La Mesa grandmother is now back on her feet today, stepping in front of the cameras. An attorney for 59 year old Leslie Furcron says it happened two weekends ago at a protest outside La Mesa City Hall. And Fox 5's Jeff McAdam joins us live from La Mesa with that story. Jeff. I'm Hi, Maria. That's right. Well, the attor her attorney has said that they've requested both the name and the badge number of the officer who fired that shot. They say they haven't gotten that. They say the use of force, at least in this particular instance, was totally uncalled for in the first place. It appears to be a moment that was captured on video. Take a look. After three or four days in a medically induced coma and stitches to her face, 59-year-old and great-grandma Leslie Furcron slowly inches away to the microphone. First and foremost, I need to just thank God for still being here. Her attorney, Dante Pride, says a civil lawsuit is coming. She lost some vision to her left eye and may have long-term injuries. But first, they want to hold police accountable. We requested to know the officer's name who fired that shot. A Facebook Live video under the name Leslie Furcron appears to show the moment it happened. Outside La Mesa City Hall late last month, you can hear a woman calling out to police while holding a can. This all taking place during a protest. She had just called the police murderers. As Furcron was drinking a drink and she threw it at the ground, she littered. Um, as you all saw, she's a 59 year old woman. There was no way she had strength or power enough to throw a can from where she was hit all the way to where the officers were. Seconds later, she appears to get hit in the face. Her attorney says they recovered a police bean bag, essentially a canvas bag with buckshot in it. There is nothing she could have done. There is nothing on camera anywhere that will show that she made an officer of La Mesa Police Department either fear for their life or injured them. In a statement sent to Fox 5 Wednesday, the La Mesa police chief wrote in part, I'm sincerely thankful that Miss Furcron has been released from the hospital and is able to heal at home with her family. I pray that she has a speedy and full recovery. I can assure Miss Furcron, her family, and the public that this unfortunate incident will be fully investigated to include an in-depth look at our crowd control practices. Yeah, and her attorney says they have up to six months to file this civil lawsuit. He says he's also representing another client, uh, somebody he says allegedly was just driving by the protests when it broke out, says he was hit with a police projectile, allegedly, and that he needed at least five stitches.